Since childhood, 40-year-old Lisa Panzica and her 38-year-old sister, Laura Chamaden, have struggled with a neurological disease that confines them to wheelchairs or motor scooters. But today, inside Northwell Health's main hospital in Manhasset, they praise the physical improvements they've seen in just months after being treated with a new drug called Spinraza. I have less fatigue, more stamina. I'm able to move my extremities with, with less effort. Their physician described how the siblings were born with SMA, or spinal muscular atrophy, a chromosomal disorder. It's the most common genetic condition affecting the nervous system in children. Despite the disease, Laura is a mother of three. She tearfully described how SMA limited her interaction with her children. The hardest thing about being a mom is not being able to pick them up when they cry or go on rides with them or, sorry. But after several treatments with Spinraza, she's now able to briefly stand up in her wheelchair. I've been able to stand longer, like my daughter said to me last night, like, well, mom, you're standing now a long time. Dr. Anthony Girassi says the drug helps to stimulate crucial proteins that strengthen leg muscles. But as it often is the case with new drugs, it's expensive. Treatment is $375,000 a year. Fortunately, the sister's insurance covers the treatments. But their physician says they're trying to convince more insurers to expand coverage, which right now has mostly been limited to children, all in the hope they can one day leave these wheelchairs behind. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. This new treatment has been approved for six more Northwell Health patients and a dozen more are being evacuated for potential treatment.